Hey, this is Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom, and I wanted to show you a wireless unit that I've come across that, again, is a great price. It's very usable. Um, it works wonderful. I used it last night in rehearsal, um, so I can't really show you how the wireless unit works because I'm sitting here in front of this camera, but I want to show you, uh, talk about it a little bit, show it to you, and see if it might be something that might work for you. Um, it's made by Donner, and it's a DWS-2, which is a wireless unit. Now, the thing that I love about Donner so much is that they have really good products for a really good price. So, you know, if you can afford to buy a really expensive wireless unit, you probably already know what you're looking for. But if you're on a budget and you don't have a whole lot of money to spend and you want something that is reliable and it sounds good and it's very functional, I just think Donner's a really great company for that. And, you know, I know when I was learning how to play, a lot of times I didn't have a whole lot of extra money to be spending on stuff like that. So it's really great that there's a company out there that's making stuff that is reasonable in, in price, but still a really good quality. So anyway, this, uh, this DWS-2 comes in a, a little case here. What's really cool about it, let me show you these things here. These are, <laughs> these are the, the transmitter and the receiver are right here, okay? They're this big. So all you do is you take the one that has a little amp picture on it and you flip this out, okay? And this plugs into whatever your amp is or whatever it is that you're, you're running. Um, you know, when I'm recording, I can run it into my interface into my computer and it works just fine. And then you've got the other part here which uh, plugs into your guitar. It's got a little picture of a guitar on there and this goes right in. Now, I've tried this on a Fender and I've tried this on, you, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I have a lot of Ibanez stuff, Paul Reed, all those things. But Ibanez tends to have kind of a, kind of a bizarre little um, quarter inch input and this fits just fine in there. And the nice thing is, is once you, once you plug it in, of course you can turn this and move it against the body or whatever you need to do. So with these, the, the, uh, the transmitter and the receiver here, all you do is you turn them on. I'll show you this. Okay. And that's it. Okay. You can switch the channel on each of these. So they're compatible with each other. Um, the nice thing about these, they both take a battery, they take a double A battery, but you can plug them into a computer and you can charge them. Okay. So you can charge them up before you go play. So you'll see this one, if you can see that, uh, the channel says red and on this one, the channel, channel one is green. This means this needs to be charged up a little bit. Okay. Now that's all that's on here. Other than if we look at the transmitter, um, it says there's a charge button, which says that it's charging obviously, but then there's a five DB button that is lit up there as well. And you can turn that on or off with the switch right here on the side. So if you need a, a DB boost, you can turn that on. Otherwise you can just shut it off. That's all it is. Um, and then this one just has a little RX, which means that it's, it's receiving transmission. It's working well. And, uh, and then again, it's got a charge in case you're charging it. That's all it is. You literally set the channel on, on both of them and you go. Uh, it does come with the charging cable and it comes with batteries, which I haven't had to replace yet. And it comes with this little bag that you can put everything in. So again, I know it's not a long video, but I just like to let you know that there's stuff out there that is, is very functional and it works great, uh, especially if you're on a budget and you don't have a lot of money to be spending on something. This Donner is, is very much something worth looking into. So anyway, hopefully that helps you a little bit. Uh, I'm sorry I can't, you know, demo it, but um, I would have to be in a larger facility to do that. But again, take my word for it. It's not a lot of money and it's certainly worth looking into if you're looking for a wireless unit.